G'day YouTube, I thought I'd do a video today on Helium 4 up. I, I keep quite a few of them in the greenhouse here, They're a nice uh, companion plant for Nepenthes and like similar conditions to the Highland Nepenthes which is my favourite. Ignoring this uh, stunning beach UI sitting here. So I've got a few out, uh, out of the shelf here to show you. This is my main main section there, right next to the Highlanders. So they tend to stay quite cool down here, and uh, tons of light. So, so I've got the same same Mars Hydro on the two shelves, but the one over the helis is running at 100% rather than 50% over the Nepenthes. And you can see my big Newtons there, which I didn't bother, well, two big Newtons, which I didn't bother getting out. Uh, they're probably getting a little bit too much light, just to, due to how close they are to it. But I might get this out and divide it shortly, though. The, the colours are absolutely stunning that are coming through. You'll see I've got quite a few broken pictures on this one. I took it to a show a couple of months ago, and on the drive out there, Someone pulled out in front of me, I slammed on the brakes, and of course that fell over. The plant hit the glove box and broke a whole lot of pitches and separated the entire root system almost. So thankfully it looks like it's settled back in and it really actually just hasn't skipped a beat, which is nice to see. And that's a, uh, a second big uh, Newton's there. I think it's actually the same same clone. I've always wondered if it's Newton's giant. Uh, if anyone knows a bit more, I'd love to hear some thoughts on it. What you think it could be? It's a nice picture there. Uh, yeah. So, as I said before, Helio for a lot. They like it cool. They grow up in the tapweeds in South America, right up high raining all the time super humid and your typical no nutrients in the soil you can see here I just did some did some dividing the other day and I repotted these these are in an Akadama pumice and uh, what, uh, Kanuma mix I went with about you know one one to one to one ratio so all about the same, just to make my life easier when I was mixing it. Uh, but I do, I do like to top dress them with live sphagnum, which you'll see on most of them. Um, I just stopped doing it halfway through because I was burning through a lot of time. So I'll, I'll come back through and I'll top dress some of these divisions later, and. Possibly at some point next year, once these have all settled in, I dare say I'll have a couple of uh, spare helium former uh, up for offer, which you can look forward to. And some other ones in the collection. Uh, this is one of the ones that was divided. Uh, Heterodox across Newtons. They're great, super easy to grow. Simple plant. It seems to just be happy no matter what the conditions and you can see there that slit is there to stop them overflowing with water so you might be able to see in there there is some water you got the nice big nectar spoon on it so yeah they won't won't fill up won't break in heavy rainfalls which as far as I I know that it rains basically every day, a few times a day up in the Tepuis in Venezuela and stuff like that. Nice uh, minor heterodoxa. See it's actually got some nice veining in there. Again, nice big nectar spoon. But just a beautiful, simple, easy plant to grow. Um, I have seen uh, 
someone will show me photos of these growing in their uh, in their backyard in Sydney, just in a water tray with their Saracenia, and the plants looked absolutely perfectly happy. So I do think I think them they've sort of got like a uh, a reputation for being super super tricky plants, which puts a lot of people off. But the truth is, good light, high humidity, and uh, good potting media. They're actually very easy. If you grow in the Penthes, uh, particularly any Highlanders, you shouldn't have any issue growing, particularly the easier easier varieties, your Minor, Newtons, Heterodoxa, and any crosses made combining them. Uh, this is another great easy one, which is Minor. Another one that got divided up on Saturday. It's a nice, really cute little small species. Uh, this is the main division that I'm I'm keeping, but it went back into the same pot it was in, and I took off. I think it was 14 divisions. This pot was completely overloaded. It was spilling out over the sides and just becoming a bit of a mess. So tidied that up, divided it up, and. Should have some uh, some room to grow for the next few years. Uh, another one which I believe is nice and easy is uh, if we not knock anything over. Uh, Live forward tequila, which is a hybrid. I'm not doesn't want to focus there. there yeah, uh, not sure which what the parentage is in it, but. Nice easy one. I've grown this one from seed. There's a little tiny seedling that never really took off in there as well, buried in the moss. But this one here is finally, I've had it for a few years now. I do, they are, they do seem to be quite slow from seed. Though, that's the only plant that I've got to, uh, to judge off. Good enough, another nice Newtons here. It's a TC clone. I've got a few a few more up in that tray. Just starting to put a bit of size on as well. Uh, super easy plant, really nice. And I don't have many uh, many of the the rarer varieties for lack of a better term, but it is really nice. Uh, well, Expa pendiculata, which look closely almost has no nectar spoon to speak of whatsoever it's almost just a little hole at the top of the uh, the picture there and if you can focus it's got the you know, real nice hairs all the way down uh, downward facing hairs to stop anything crawling out of those pictures you can see this is putting out a whole heap of little growth points in there and typical put the put the plant in the middle of the pot and it only grows one way but we'll see how that goes in the next couple of years and then finally I don't have a huge collection here but uh, the, the tag on this is faded but let's see heterodoxa cross folliculata I think this is a mate of mine that crossed this Beautiful dark, dark colours in the pictures there. See this one's just about to, open, just about to open up. See the immature pictures are almost black at the top there. Um, but yeah, just an absolutely stunning plant. I think this picture only opened a couple of weeks ago or a week ago even. So it might darken up even more. I have to keep an eye on it. I definitely find. The uh, the stronger the light, the darker the colours, and the redder it gets. See, most of the lot, most of the ones down low are, are staying quite uh, quite green. But once you step up a bit higher, the Newtons are just going bright red. I also see I've got a few a few pings in there that really only just started started collecting. Nothing uh, super exciting, but be nice to see them grow and 
what comes of that. But yeah, just thought I'd do a quick video on the helis today and uh, then hopefully next year I'll be releasing if, at least a few different options and I think they're all going to be nice, easy uh, growing species and hybrids so it should be good thanks again, if you haven't yet jump over and hit the like and subscribe button and uh, until next time cheers